Hey folks, Landstrider here, and welcome back to another episode on Future's Edge on the Aim to Game server. I'm here with Renal. Hey, hey, hey. And also on the server right now, I believe, is uh, Twitchy. You there? Hey, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, today, we got a couple things planned. Uh, I want to show you something that's coming up in the, in the next update, although hopefully by the time this video comes out, the update will have been out and it will be available. So, and that is a schematic. So I've included Schematica in the pack, and until now I haven't had any actual schematics included in the pack for you to just automatically use. You know, you're supposed to, you know, copy paste and your own stuff or whatever, or find schematics on the internet to throw in that folder. But now there'll be a few included, and I'm not sure if Curse will overwrite the ones that you may have already in that folder. So mm, sorry if they do. <laughs> so you're warned. Make a backup before you update to, to the next version course if this video doesn't come out before the update i guess you're not going to know that <laughs> uh, over here you can see that i've put uh long bridge and short bridge into the uh thing and the reason i wanted these is because um i i recently got my horse uh the problem with traveling crown with my horse though is that uh, you run into rivers and you can't really get around them sometimes or or bodies of water or, or even ravines that you would like to just, you know, cross. Uh, but now you can load a schematic real quick, either the long bridge or the short bridge, whichever one's appropriate. And you see here, the long bridge is pretty long. I'm going to be able to cross this wide um, body of water that's right out front of my my uh, village here. Now, it does the the pillars will have to be further extended uh, afterwards if I, if I want to take them all the way down or I could remove the or I could not put the pillars in I could just have that be uh, a wood arch there but all I gotta do is have the materials in my inventory Ooh, let's see do I have everything torches it's best to have everything on your hotbar and if you open the schematics now this is the uh, it's the slash key on your number pad to open the menu to select there's a folder in your minecraft folder that you can uh, open and move schematic files into or you can create schematics using the red point and blue point in your world like you go into a creative world build something set the red point and blue point so that the box is around your build and then save it give it a name and save it you could do that uh, that'll also give you a schematic in that folder then you can load it once you load a schematic you can manipulate the position of it. You can flip it, rotate it, and everything else like that. Make sure that it looks, it's where you want it, and it puts a shadow. Obviously, that shadow is, is schematic of doing its job there. Uh, and then you can just kind of follow it. You can, put the, you can put the blocks in. So like right here, I know, uh, you can see that it shows that red block there. That's because that's supposed to be a log. So there, it cleared it. Now, if I put something that's not supposed to be there, See, it's still, it's showing me that kind of purple red color. It's like, hey, this doesn't belong here. The schematics overlay is telling me that. So what I can do now is I can turn printer mode on. This is my favorite part of this printer mode right over here. There's a button that says printer on. And now that I have all the materials, by the way, you can check with those materials right here. You can see that I'm missing. Oh, I'm going to need more oak. Um, now I'm going to need more oak logs. Could you bring me some more oak logs, Dornall, please? While I start this up. Um, How many? Uh, it says I need 102, but I'll probably need a little bit more than that. So I would say two stacks. Don't got that. Don't got that. Well, um, I'm sure that we could plant some trees. <laughs> so as you can see, I get, as soon as I get close enough to place the blocks, it, it just places them. So if it's in reach... And it needs to be placed. I place it, which is gonna this, this should go pretty fast this way. Oop. Now th this little difficulty right here is because I can't place those logs in that orientation against anything. So what I like to do is have a block. So if I throw a block in 
right there. Now I can go ahead and those logs will place. And then I can continue on. I'm gonna do the, I have to do the same thing here. And I'm only doing the one side right now because it, it's not I don't have anything that I can place those logs against to get the correct orientation on that side either. But as soon as I have something to place against, it goes ahead and places it. So if you can't actually place it, it doesn't place it for you. Actually, I ran out of logs there, but I did get the arch done. Um, I can turn off and hide. Oop. Well, there's a blooper for you. I got picked up by a rock while I was standing on my bridge. Oh, oh, and there's a creeper. Creeper in the water, though, so. At least he was in the water. Oh, and the rock is dead. Okay. <laughs> Building at night. Not a good idea. <laughs> no, generally best to carry a bed with you, you know. <laughs> Something, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm just outside my village. I mean, <laughs> I, I, should, <laughs> I could go sleep it probably. Uh, now that I removed those, I can I can show the the structure again. You can see there. And as soon as I have a block to put there, it'll go ahead and put it back, put it there. Uh, but for now, and also it's telling me that all this grass doesn't belong. I don't care about that. I just want the uh, the logs to be, go in place and stuff. I need more logs. Lots more logs. Anyway, uh, I, I can always finish this later. The main part of the bridge is actually done. Uh, the walkway. I could use it. And I can come back later and reposition the schematic over top of it and finish it off. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, it's already... I'm going to go ahead and hide it. And once you hide it, basically, you can just go off and you can be done with it for now. Um... But let's take a look. I do need to put a piece of dirt right there, I think. I uh, should have some dirt maybe in here. Yep. And I think I want to put a little dirt under there just, just so it looks like it's on something. There we go. And there's, uh, well, there's half of the bridge. <laughs> there's the functional part of the bridge, anyway. And as soon as I get some more logs, I'll be able to finish that off. And I think it's going to look pretty nice. Fit into the to the landscape pretty well. Uh, I'll just extend those pillars all the way down into the water until they re re meet the ground. And it'll be done. Well, of course, like I said, all the logs and fences that still need to go in. But let's get on with the other portion of this episode, which is going to be bees. Find out what all the buzz is about. Oh, oh. man, I knew that bad buzz was coming. <laughs> oh, it's, it's in the quest line. It's it's right in the quest. See, beeline. What's all the buzz about? <laughs> uh, yeah, I couldn't help myself. All right, so Dordell's got our project chest set up. Hang on, let me, uh, let me just toss these things on the ground real quick. And how did you get in the house? We have a guest. And he's not attacking us. Oh, no. He, he, he is totally after Dolores. He's like, I, I want the woman. Okay. He made go. his choice and he's sticking with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he got to go. Sorry. <laughs> I, I kind of wanted to name him and keep him, but he got to go. <laughs> That's because we have a spawn point in here. That's how he got in. Is, is it? Oh, we need to light it up. Not anymore. Yeah, too bad we don't have... Well, yeah, we need... Yeah, okay, that'll work. Because <laughs> we got rid of all of our walls and a couple of our torches that were against those walls and stuff. Um, yep. That's okay. All right, so now that... Uh, and you know, also put that dirt away. Now that we're good, let me grab a snack real quick. Celery and peanut butter. That looks like a perfect snack. <laughs> And we can get on to bees. So first thing before we do anything with bees is we need a scoop. I was thinking about making the scooperator. Sadly, I don't have enough ender pearls to make all that stuff. <laughs> I would need a lot of ender pearls. So we're going to stick with uh, the basic scoop for uh, getting started. It'll work. 
Let's see here. There we go. Scoop. That should complete a quest. Under beeline, yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I really want both the Apris chest and the bee smoker. Fortunately. You take the backpack, I'll take the smoker. Thank you, buddy. You're such a friend. <laughs> uh yeah. That that's that's the beauty of playing with a with a partner. <laughs> it is you know sometimes you don't have to make tough decisions. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, I miss that. Yeah. The amount of stuff I've left behind. Uh Oh, Lance Rider. You look tired. Yes, Dolores, I am a bit tired. I just uh uh, you know, bees. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's let's put the machines together. Uh, and you got another thing in there for us that's extra. Oh, we got a few things in there extra. Got a couple extras in there, yes. All right. Well, let's start with this up here, which is going to give us a carpenter. Correct. I want to go ahead and set this carpenter up right away because we need it to make stuff. So I'm actually going to put the carpenter. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put the carpenter here. I'm going to have to rearrange some pipes, I think, too. Uh, conduits. So I need another energy conduit to go right there. I need uh, that and that and that. Oh, oh. Come, come down here. There we go. Uh, and then I'm just going to go to there. And that, since that's pressurized, yeah, that's pressurized fluid conduit, which we can put up there. That will push the fluid all the way up into the carpenter, no problem. Now we just uh, always active. Let's set it to straight extract. And uh, yeah, our carpenter already has our seed oil in it. Sweet. And ready to go. So that's going to be our carpenter with seed oil. And that'll pretty much always be our carpenter. So you know, we'll make another carpenter. We want a carpenter with water. And another carpenter. We want a carpenter with something else. I think. <laughs> and uh, it looks like... Uh, looks like Grim is having a good time. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. So we got a scoop. We got our bee smoker. We are ready to go get some bees. Uh, we've got our carpenter. The reason I wanted the carpenter is because we're going to need to... Um, what is this? Oh, okay. I know what that next thing is. The next thing is a thermionic fabricator, which is not related to bees, but we're just going to go ahead and throw it together because it's the next quest in their tech. It, the and rest we, of it's actually not related to bees, except yeah. for one. Okay. Um... I'm not even sure where to put this. Can you maybe just maybe put, let's just put it here for now? We can run some power to it later, whenever you're ready to get into some uh, uh, forestry farming. We're not going to do that this episode, though. Uh, well, this one is right here. One more is related to bees. This is the centrifuge. The centrifuge is needed to, of course, get the honey out of the honeycombs and the other products that honeycombs produce. And where do I want to put this? <laughs> Running out of a little space in here. I'll put it right there. Then I can reach it. Yeah, I can still reach it. Okay, and then you said, yeah, the last two are not actually related to bees. The one's related to food. But do we have those quests done? Let's let's first of all let's get back up here. We've completed round and round, which we can get some wax capsules. Are going to be abundant later. I'm going to take the honeycomb, the silky combs. Claim those. No, you can't put the one together yet. Done. What's that? Yeah, no, I know. I'm like I'm pretty sure sure we need to find some uh, soybeans first. Yeah, I just set that up so we had it. But the other one you can't put together. So the only one's actually for camera today. 
actually if you can find all those seeds like I, we do we have all the seeds yet i know you got you've broken a lot of grass and stuff like that if we look over in this chest over here do we have all the seeds probably not like if i take all these green seeds into my inventory and then open the quest quest and we detect it nope we're missing something I know we got lettuce, barley. I know we have all these things. So maybe we need to just go pick a one and get the seeds of each. We're missing scallion. Scallion is in the garden here somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so there's spice leaf. Okay, let me uh let me get the scallion out and turn it into a seed. Scallion. So scallion's the one we were missing. Uh, and you said spice barley was one, right? Barley, lettuce, yes. and spice leaf. Surely there's lettuce in here. Lettuce, yeah, lettuce. And then that should complete that quest. Yeah, it did. Yeah. All right. And then I'm gonna take uh, kiwi, and I um, I think you should take. Great, because I'm pretty sure we have raspberry. Done. If we don't have... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have raspberry. Did that go in my forestry bag? No. Oh, I didn't actually claim. That's what it was. No, I did claim. Where'd it go? Oh, because it's not... It's not a... It's a, that key right there. That right there. Kiwi. Come plant your key. Oh, you already plant your grapes. Kiwi. Uh, so yeah, plant your grapes right beside the kiwi. There are, or you can throw it at me. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> hey, Dolor Dolores wanted to come check out the new crops. Hey, how's it going, darling? Hello, dear. <laughs> how's your day going? She's weeding them. Yeah, she, well, she is a farmer, so, I mean, she likes to be in the field. <laughs> Not too surprised there. Um, okay. So that's all done. That's done. Uh, now we can put together that other... Wait, did we, did we find the soybean crop? Did we have soybean? No, I didn't. I don't... I didn't find it. You didn't find it. Okay. I'm pretty sure you get soybean from, from grass. Could you go check that chest to make sure there's not soybean in there? I, I, I didn't actually look at the every name. So I'm pretty sure I didn't plant it out here. Do I have soybeans? No, no. No, they're really good to have. <laughs> they are really good to have. We definitely need to have soybeans. We have beans. Yes, I know we have beans. This is where I wish I could evolve crops. Uh, you know, or, or crossbreed. <laughs> no crossbreeding in this in this version yet. No, we just don't have soybeans yet. Break more grass. Okay. Um, I think at this point, that's almost everything. Uh, I got to save that recipe. That's a squeezer until we find the soybeans. I can do this one, though, right? Yeah. The, yes. The, which is unrelated to bees, but we'll go ahead and throw it together. It's just the workbench. Um, right here. And this one's really good to have because we're going to be able to then start using some of our steel that we're getting now. In fact, uh, have you cycled this over here? No. No, I've been waiting because we need to make the tank. Tank. We did the tank. No, no, no. Oh, big the big tank. tank. Big tank. Okay, he's talking about... What he's talking about is the uh, immersive engineering tank, which is very large. And, and that's to store all of the uh, creosote that's going to come off of all of our coal once we cook it down, make steel. And we can't do that until we do the episode for the metal press. All right. So under the fabricator, I'm going to select the uh, seed oil capsule. Under the agroelectronics, I'm going to select the bronze gears. And 
to the under the bee line. Um, of course, I've already gotten forestry bees and meadow bees. I got those from uh, a, a chest in the in the same temple where I got those capacitors. So those have been complete for a while. Um, I'm saving to turn them in because when I turn them in, I'm going to get a bunch of bee stuff, and I don't want to do that till I have a place good place to store it. So, what did you do now under workbench? Workbench. I, I was getting to that. Uh, and for the workbench, I'm going to claim. I'm going to claim specialized projectiles. I think I'll claim common. Oh, okay. Cool. But I actually want the bench set. This bench set up for specialized projectiles. Uh, what we need to do is we need to have three benches here. One for projectiles, one for specialized projectiles. Actually, I need to move this one over if we're going to do that. Uh, unless we're going to put a space in between. Actually, we would. We could put a space in between. That would be perfect. Yep. So specialized projectiles go here. Make another bench for here. And then when we get the electrode one, we can put it there. And I'll just put this uh, in here for now. And we will go find some bees. I got your two benches right now, boss. Actually, no, benches? What? Work benches? Oh, okay, cool. Just... Just put them down and set them up. You can do it. You can do it. Um, in fact, I have. I can use these silky combs. Don't I get combs from something else? Pretty sure I get, can, can, get, can get combs from something else. Um, let's go find some bees. While I'm finding bees, could you uh, maybe put together some... Uh, what is it I want to make? I want to make apiary, so I need... The impregnated casings, which is done in the carpenter. I'm just skipping bee houses. That's a completely optional quest. Bee houses, you don't have to do it at all. <laughs> Might do it later just for the reward, but totally optional. Seed oil is in there. We need logs. Let's let's uh, use up our. I'm still collecting my quest, boss. Got plenty of oak. Okay, no worries. I'm just going to set this up. It's not that hard. I don't know why I was asking you to do it since I was standing right here. <laughs> and I can throw this extra seed oil in here. Actually, if I click it on the outside. Oh, no, it doesn't work like that anymore. You used to get you sometimes you used to get the uh, capsule back. I don't, you don't get it in the back no more when you click it on the outside. Oh, and it's raining and it's nighttime. That means before we go getting bees. Although, nighttime is a good time to collect bees. Did I? Oh, no. The... I did not hit Dolores. It was the phantom pushed her out of the way. Almost died, I did. Oh, I need. Yeah, are you sleeping? Yep. Okay. Wish I knew. And I'm trying to get in my bed as well. It's it's all right. It's all right. We got it. I, I thought. Well, I seen him. He was like right there in his room. So it just didn't. His message took longer than I was. All right. Before I go out, I need to recharge my tools. So charge those guys up. Not ever a good idea to leave with a half charged pickaxe. Might as well charge my armor. All good. So I'm actually going to leave that beehive over there because I like it. It's picturesque. So I'm a, I'm, I am going to get that one though. So there's my horsey. I haven't named the horse yet. Should we uh should we do a poll for the horse name or take suggestions? Come on, you can get over that fence. There we go. Need to uh, need to make need to fix this slope over here. I've been slowly landscaping some of this hill back, you know, trying to get it to be a little bit more navigable over in front of my house and stuff. We'll eventually get there. Uh, it'd be better. If, well, it'll it'll happen real fast once I get a robot or a drone or something that can do the digging for me. So okay, I think I can just walk up to, because I have the smoker. In my inventory, I can just walk up to these things. They're not going to sting me in the daytime. It's very nice. I can poof the smoker on it a few times if I want. Um, and then I can break it. And because I had the smoker, I didn't get stung. <laughs> and that should have all went into my apris backpack. 
which is going to be super nice because it has five pages so it can store 125 bees <laughs> 125 stacks of bees now princesses don't stack but drones do so uh i can go out and collect bees for some time and on my horse i can get around fairly fast to do the collecting of the bees hey don't sting me <laughs> so yeah um basically that's what i'm gonna do for a minute is just go around and collect beehives i think and by the time i get back to the uh back to the village i should be able to make a bunch of aprys and uh, get the bees started we should wrap it up about that time honestly uh just with the bees i got i could probably get the bees started so let's just do that I'm not going to go. I'll go around later and collect a bunch more off camera. I got to get better at getting the horse to jump. You got to get it like really. The You got to stop. Let go of the space bar right when the bar's like in the yellow. To get over a fence. Or really close to the yellow. Depending on the horse I suppose too. He's not. This is not a very good jumper. He's not a very good jumper. He got lots of hit points though, so I'm happy about that. Maybe it's because he's wearing iron armor. <laughs> he's not jumping as high as he, as he as maybe he could. So we could throw this uh, honeycomb that we got in the centrifuge. Oh, whoa, centrifuge interface changed somehow. I'll have to check into that. It's in, in the latest forestry update. So, um, squeezer, yeah, there we go. We've got our why is it not making our casing? Do we not have enough? Oh, you took the casing out, didn't you? Put it over here. Ha! You're so awesome. Hey, Twitchy. How's it going, buddy? Hey, someone told me you need some soybeans. I do need soybeans. You have soybeans? Oh, there we go. You are Enjoy so, them. You are so awesome. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Now I'm away. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I, I want to plant these over here in this garden? He even brought us four of them. The exact amount that we need to make our row. Well, let's do that. One, two, three, four. All right. Now, now, if I have some... Oh, yeah, I do have some... I do have some bow meal here on hand somewhere. Get a bit of it. Go grow some soya beans. Oh yeah. Now I got a bunch of soybeans. Sweet. I can turn one of those into a soybean seed. And that should complete our quest. No? Oh that's right. soybean. You, you actually, I, I didn't need to make, I didn't need to make the scene. seed. You just need to turn the eight soybeans in. There we go. Now that I got eight soybeans, I'm taking the pistons. Is that what you want me to take? Yeah, we always need more pistons. I mean, two, two pistons, you don't have to craft. The other thing, we're going to have tons of soy and stuff to make the rest of that. So we don't need to, we don't need that because we have the crop. So throw your pistons in the drawer controller and it'll go where it's supposed to. Um, yep. Did it go where it's supposed to? The piston should be up there. That's where glass is at. <laughs> Somewhere there's pistons, maybe. My pistons disappeared. No, they're on the back wall. But my bedroom wall. I'm blind. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I would have put him beside the sticky distance. <laughs> Not sure why glass is there. Okay. Anyway, let's let's put together our apries. Apries. Well, we can rearrange that later if it if it matters. And, and it's not going to matter in uh, for much longer anyway because we'll eventually have an inventory panel that will allow us to just pull things out that we want. Right. 
And uh, since we got the soybeans, we can actually put that last thing together. Yes, we can. Now we can put the squeezer together. It's just some, what is it? What do you got in there? Iron, yeah, just iron. With the two pistons. And so, uh, also kind of uh, why the pistons are one of the rewards for the uh, <laughs> quest. So you can, if you take those, you can go right to the squeezer. <laughs> presser, I mean. Presser, you know what? I didn't really uh, anticipate this in my uh, layout here. It's it, I guess it's really not exactly... Well, you know, really probably where I want it is up there with a hopper. <laughs> Actually, let's put it all the oh, way okay. in the corner. Ooh, wow, that axe is very powerful. I can make you a hopper. We got hoppers. Don't make, them, don't make one. We got them right here. Got them from Dungeon. Oh. Ta da Easy peasy. Now we just take our uh, soybeans and we can throw them in there. And I'm pretty sure oh Hopper just pulls them straight out of the top slot. Uh and it doesn't where did it go? Oh there there. Okay. No, hopper didn't work. That's okay. It's easy to fix with some uh, conduit, probably. Anyway, I think we can set these bees up out here. Um, let's see, and I have a chest out here with the bees that I've already got. Yeah, these guys out here. So let's just go with right along the fence, I think. That'll work. Well, there's, there's... Why are you doing that? I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Just tell me what you want me to take. Sure. Common princess or common drones? Common princess. Princess or frames? Hang on. You took the princess. I'll take the drones. Oh, that's so cheaty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, take the princess in every case because it's a pristine princess in there, you know. Okay. They're 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 a little harder to get. They're they're not guaranteed, you know. Every time you break a thing, so if you can guarantee a pristine, you probably want the pristine. So those probably went into the apron bag. Yes, it did. Okay. Just throw all of your uh things in here need that common there it is common ha ha common on common I'm gonna have to go ahead and breed those together because they're gonna be pure purebred uh, and I want to keep those I don't usually usually I just skip that portion like if I'm breeding like I won't bother pure breeding common but since I have a nice purebred common I might as well go ahead am I gonna get that. stung over here no no that only works that only happens with wild bees and tropical bees or bees that have a stinging aura um, so the rest of the the rest of them I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna work on mutating is what I'm trying to say so for each uh, for each forest princess that I use actually let's look at the princesses that we have we have pristine prist ignoble let's let's mess with the ignoble that way We'll save our pristines for later on. If we have ignoble, we're going to use the ignoble ones. Actually, most of the ones that I have are pristine, which is nice. Um, because I got them from loot chests. I think loot's, loot is usually pristine. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. You know what you guys. really need? Oops. You need a bealizer. A bealizer. Yeah, probably do. Probably will need one of those eventually. I've only got that many drones. I've only got four, four drones. Okay. Well, I guess I'm only gonna do four then. So I'll do two and two. Which that's the common. So that and that guy. So here. Oh, you know what? That's a bad idea. Put them right against the fence. Okay, because things will go over out of the fence. We'll just move them over one real quick. 
four, five, and that, yeah, that's not under the tree. You got to make sure they have a straight view of the sky. No leaf blocks over t over top of them. So you go in there. You go in there. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Princess, that, that, and that that and that there we go so those should be try attempting to cross into common and as soon as they get into common i will try to cross cross them back into um cultivated that's what comes next cultivated and i want to brain fart there for a second and um yeah and then move all the way on up to the industrials and imperials as we can although um I don't want to go too much past cultivated without getting into gendistry some, honestly. <laughs> hey, later, Twitchy. Has to go get to get some food. Uh, and we're wrapping up anyway, so this episode is going to be uh, all done. We got into bees. Um, I'm not probably going to come back to them again until we get into the gendistry part of them, so that's going to be a while. So uh, for now, I'll just probably tinker with them a little bit and collect a bunch in the wild. So, hope you have enjoyed this video as much as we have enjoyed making it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, a comment, a thumbs up, all that other fun stuff. And until next time, I will catch you later. See you all on the flip.